Hi, I'm Pastor Deb. Welcome to Family and Friends Gathering for May 2021. And our theme, as you can probably guess, is Noah's Ark. The Kids Club and the Preschool have had a lot of fun putting together for you the movie Noah's Ark in the Park. Let's go worship. Who built the ark? Noah, Noah, who built the ark? Brother Noah, who built the ark? Who built the ark? Noah, Noah, who built the ark? Brother Noah, who built the ark? God! This is Noah. Noah was a good man who tried to do the right thing, but he was the only one. All the other people were doing evil things and hurting each other. This made God very, very sad. Noah! Who is that? Who said that? It's me, God. Oh. Is it really you, God? You don't look the way I thought you would. Yes, it's me. What did you expect? I don't know. Different clothes, all kind of white and shiny, and uh, more holy. Holy? Ha! <laughs> I love color. I love coloring animals and people all over the earth. You'll see. <laughs> but, Noah, right now I'm really disappointed in humans. They have really been behaving badly. I'm going to send a flood to cover the whole earth. Wow, that's, that's a lot of water. I hope people can swim. Well, Noah, you're gonna need a boat, a big boat. A boat that's big enough to carry all you and your family and all of the animals of the earth. I think you need to build an ark, a giant ark. Make it 300 cubits long, 50 cubits wide, and 30 cubits high and then fill it with two of every animal of the earth and a lot of food. Okay, God, if you say so, but God? Yes, Noah? What's a cubit? Rise and shine, give all the glory, glory, rise and shine, give all the glory, glory, rise and shine. said to Noah, there's gonna be a floody, floody, Lord said to Noah, there's gonna be a floody, floody, get my children out of the muddy, muddy children of the Lord. So rise and shine, get out of the glory, glory, rise and shine. said to Noah to build him an arky arky Lord said to Noah to build him an arky arky build it out of hickory barky barky children of the Lord Noah's neighbors thought he was a little nuts when he started building a giant boat and then animals showed up What's up with that? Penguins and badgers and lions, that guy must be nuts. One day it began to rain. All the animals ran into the ark. And God said to Noah, Yeah, we're doing that. Noah, go into the ark. You and your wife and your sons and your sons' wives. For only you are good. Noah's neighbors banged on the door and said, I don't know why God 
picked me to do this. I made this because he, he, he wanted somebody to tell the story of how to live right so this would never happen again. I'm so sorry for you guys. I'm sorry for the animals. I'm sorry for God. <laughs> then the greatest rains came. It rained for 40 days and 40 nights and flooded the earth. Some say it was just rain, but others say it was God's tears. The animals, they came, they came in by twosies, twosies, animals, they came, they came in by twosies, twosies, elephants and kangaroosies, roosies, children of the Lord. It rained and poured for 40 daisies, daisies, rained and poured for 40 daisies, daisies, almost drove those animals crazy, crazy children of the boat floated safely with Noah and the animals inside. By now, everyone was really nuts. Finally, the rain stopped. God sent a wind to blow across the land. Suddenly, thud, crunch, the ark came to rest on the mountaintop. There was growling, grrr, and hissing, hiss, and mooing, moo, and croaking, croak, and skipping, skip, skip. The animal said, Let's get out of here! But when Noah opened the window, the wind howled, and all the animals looked at each other and said, Noah sent a brave black raven out to look around. It flew away. Then Noah sent out a white dove. Noah waited and waited. He kept staring out the window to the cold, dark night, looking for the raven or the dove. Everyone said, Finally, the dove came back with a green olive leaf, and no one knew that at last the earth was dry. God said, Noah, time to get off the boat. Well, you know, God, it's still pretty cold and muddy out there. I've gotten rather used to this cozy ark. Get off the boat, Noah. Noah threw open the doors of the ark, and the animals were let out at last so they could be fruitful and multiply. Noah built an altar to thank God for saving them. God promised to never send another flood to destroy every living thing on earth. God put a rainbow in the sky as a sign of his promise to Noah and to you. The sun came out and dried up the landy, landy sun came out and dried up the landy, landy everything was fine and dandy, dandy children. The animals they came out, they came out by these crazies and they came out, they came out by threesies, threesies, they had learned their birds and beesies, beesies, children of the Lord. Rise and shine, give God the glory, glory, rise and shine, give God the glory, glory, rise and shine, give God the glory, glory, children of the Lord. Rise and shine, Hi, it's time for announcements. Hey, we are having summer camp right here in our fabulous nature park, and there are still some openings for the kindergarten through fourth grade age groups. Call Mrs. Debbie Cooper. 
and on June 9th, pencil that in. You want to come and thank and celebrate Debbie Cooper as she retires as preschool director. She won't be gone from our lives, but it's time to celebrate and say thank you. June 9th, 4 o'clock for the drive through 5 o'clock for the gathering in the park. In August, we have Vacation Bible School, August 9 to 12. And that's a great time of learning about Jesus and singing and doing crafts. So contact Taryn Haugley if you want to be part of that. July 14th and August 18th, Family and Friends Gathering is going to be back in person. And we're also going to be here with some water slides and some songs and some great messages about how God loves us celebrating in creation. You know what? We got a little wet this time and if you're interested in baptism for real, give me a call. We can make that happen maybe even outside in the park too. I hope you enjoyed Noah's Ark in the park. And here's a closing poem that we'll use as our prayer. Noah lived in a world of wicked men. Noah never went along with them. They may have laughed, they may have jeered, called him names, called him weird. No matter what they said, Noah walked with God. Noah was full of gladness and hated sin. Noah did what God commanded him. He found a hammer and some wood he built a boat and built it good. And all the while he worked away, Noah talked with God. Noah, the boat is ready. It's time to get in. Noah, load the animals and bring your kin. He followed God, obeyed God's word, even through the laughter he heard. And when the rain began to fall, Noah sailed with God. Through storm and flood, the ark sailed on. Even with the whole world gone, Noah and the animals were safe and warm. God kept them all from death and harm. And through the dark and scary days, Noah trusted God. Noah, look, the wind is blowing, the sun's come out, the water's down, and there's no doubt the flood is over. The land is dry. Then God placed a rainbow in the sky as promise of God's love. And Noah thanked his God. For the promise of God's love, let's all thank our God. Amen. God's face is shining on us. God's rainbow is shining over us. God's love is shining through us. Go in peace. Serve the Lord. Thanks be to God! <laughs> Amen! <laughs> oh my God! He <laughs> could have done so much more.
funny what's happened to us. There's gonna be a funny, funny getting my children and all the funny, funny children of the world.